What if I put it in a, in a, in a glass glass? Oh, they won't. <laughs> I don't think they would know. Huh? I don't think they would know. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. How's that? Oh, I could probably get that done now. Okay. All right. So my first question is, how was your childhood and where did you grow up? Um, so my childhood, I was born in Hyannis, Mass, um, raised here in, in a Cape Cod. I came from a very large family. We lived on a street called Kelly Street in Howard. My grandmother had 20 brothers and sisters, so our family reunions are very large. I have five siblings, two older and three younger, two older sisters who were um, little, a little bit of tyrants to us younger siblings, but it's normal. I'm <laughs> sure every family has that. And the younger ones were pretty much my, my um, I guess I was a pet pecker for them because they kind of followed me around, which is something I love because to this day, my three younger siblings I'm still very close to. I'm still close to my other sisters, but you know, um, it's 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 life. How to life? Yeah. I grew up my early years in Howitch, going to Howitch Elementary. My mom and dad bought a house in Dennis, so we moved to Dennis and went to elementary school with um, Ezra Baker. Then we went to Wixon Middle School, and then we went to DY. I. Did not graduate from DY. I actually went to Cape Cod Tech. It was the first year it opened, and I went to cosmetology school. So my trade was in hairdressing. I graduated from Cape Cod, Cape Cod Tech. Until I met my son's father. And I had my oldest son at 22 years old. His name is Jabril. He's also Solomon's father. Okay. Shortly after that, um, two more kids came. I married their father, and I had another son and a daughter. And I inherited three stepsons, which was they were my bonus children. I'm still very close to them. Unfortunately, um, Solomon's oldest uncle passed away um, three years ago. I lived in Boston for about 11, 11 12 years and finally made my way back to Kelly Street in Howard with my husband and my children. As far as having children, my kids are my kids are good kids. They're kids like everybody else's kids. Back in the day, they were outside. There wasn't a lot of things to do inside. There was no computers, no, no laptops. Um, they, had, they had a great video game, Atari, which I don't know, some of you probably don't remember Atari, but they had Atari. And um, eventually came um, Nintendo. But um, they were outdoor kids, played a lot of sports. They're all married and have children of their own and have successful lives, all of them. At this moment right now, I have 13 grandchildren. My first grandson, is part of my older group, my three stepsons that my bonus children. And Solomon is my first biological brain child too. Okay, so he's a good kid. He's, a, he's an amazing kid. So let's see, he lived here with me when he was six months old, he moved. In. And his grandfather and I, he was the apple of his eye. Okay. okay. With our eyes. But like I said, I have 15 amazing grandkids. Who, uh, most of them live close by. The older ones don't. They live in Atlanta and California. And um, Solly, and from Solly all the way down to the youngest two, two um, live here. So um, I'm fortunate to have seven of them here. Seven of, seven of them here on Cape Cod, which is, which, is, which is wonderful. Helping to raise my grand my grandchildren is probably the, the best part of me. Really, the best part of me is what was raising my grandchildren. Even better than raising my little kids. So I worked here for about six months and then I moved at the age of eighteen 
119 to Boston and got my first job there, working in a beauty salon. I had a good career there. As the, my children got older, I right. got a job with the electric company here on Cape Cod, which was a blessing because it was good money, good trade. And now, you know, going from hairdressing to reading meetings was good. It was good for me because I'm an outdoor person, very much an outdoor person. My career um, ever source ended after 25 years. I am happily retired. So I'm retired. Um, unfortunately, I lost my husband five years ago. You can hear my grandchildren in the background, probably. Um, let's see. I enjoy, I enjoy traveling. I enjoy yoga. I enjoy walking, I enjoy swimming, and I enjoy spending time with my grandkids. So my free time is pretty much a little bit of everything, which is, um, which is a blessing, like I said. Um, I, I love to travel. I just came from Europe last month, and it was wonderful. So right now, my, my, um, my future entails to do as much traveling as I can. Okay, and spend time with my grandsons, my grand, my grandsons and my granddaughters. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little journey <laughs> from from given having born born and raised here into a very large family. Okay. So thank you for listening. And thank you for answering my questions. You're welcome. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I think I can just. Yeah. Check it out. See if it's yeah, and it did record everything.